This tutorial will demonstrate how to search Ovid Medline for qualitative studies. To start, click on the Ovid link on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Click the Ovid Medline link. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. When searching for qualitative studies, your question will look different from your clinical question when searching for quantitative studies, and most likely will not follow the PICO format. Remember, qualitative research is done to understand and interpret personal experiences, behaviors, interactions, and social contexts to help explain a phenomena of interest. For instance, for this tutorial, we will be working with the following question. How do victims of school bullying experience social interactions? In this example, we still have a definitive population slash problem, victims of school bullying, but we are focusing on a specific phenomena of interest instead of an intervention. From our question, we'll use the following keywords to start our search, bullying, schools, and social interactions. We'll now conduct a search for mesh terms that fit each of our keywords. Make sure that the map term to subject heading box below the search bar is checked. Enter the word bullying and click search. The first page that we are taken to is a list of possible medical subject headings that were mapped to our search term of bullying. Each subject heading has a scope note, indicated with the blue eye icon. The scope note includes a definition of the subject heading, along with possible uses for the term. Leave the checkmark checks next to bullying to select the term. We will also want to explode our terms in order to pick up any subject headings that fall under the category of terms that we have chosen. Click the explode box next to bullying. Then click continue. On this page, you will see a number of subheadings that apply to the bullying subject heading. Since we are just beginning this search and want to keep our options as broad as possible, let's click the continue button to complete the search. This effectively includes all the subheadings. We now have a set of over 3,000 results. We'll leave those alone for now and continue by searching for another term from our question. Enter schools into the search box and press the enter key. We'll proceed as we did for the bullying search, checking the explode box and including all subheadings. Now we'll search for our final keyword, social interactions. We can check the scope note to ensure that interpersonal relations is an appropriate term for social interactions. Since the definition seems appropriate, we'll go back to select the term. Again, searching as we did before, checking the explode box, and including all subheadings. We now have three separate sets of search results. Our next step is to combine the three searches that we have already completed so that we retrieve results that pertain to all of our subject terms. Click the check boxes next to our searches, and then click the AND button next to Combine With. The three searches are now combined, leaving us with over 100 search results. Each of the articles in this result set contains only articles that have bullying, schools, and social interactions as subject headings. At this point in your search, you might be interested in limiting your results to articles that applied qualitative research methods. Unlike some of the other study types that we have practiced in past tutorials, there are no publication type limits in Ovid Medline for qualitative studies, though there is a mesh term for qualitative research. However, it is not always applied, so you may miss a lot of relevant studies. For example, search for the qualitative research mesh term and then add it to your search.
If you didn't receive very many results, don't worry. This just demonstrates that you may need to use a different search strategy to find studies employing qualitative research methods. The easiest way to limit your set of search results to qualitative studies is to apply the qualitative clinical queries limit. To apply this limit, select the additional limits button underneath the search bar. Before we select limits to apply, we need to select which set of search results to which we are going to apply this limit. In this case, we want to limit the search for bullying, schools, and social interactions, or searches 1 and 2 and 3. Select the radio button for the search in question. Below your search history, you will see a large number of limits that you can choose from. We are looking for the clinical queries limit on the left side. Clinical queries are prefabricated search strategies designed to limit to your search results to a type of clinical question. Looking through your options, you will see three options for qualitative clinical queries. Maximizes sensitivity gives you the broadest set of results. Some of the studies may or may not meet your exact criteria, but you will have a larger set of results. Maximizes specificity gives more precise results. Your result set will be smaller, but the majority will meet your criteria. Best balance of sensitivity and specificity is a medium between the first two. When first applying the limit, you might try the best balance option first, but you can always try all three. At this point in your search, you might start to think of other search terms that you could substitute for your original terms. For example, you could use students instead of schools, or you could try friendship instead of interpersonal relations. To learn how to search for other types of studies, check out more of the library's evidence-based practice tutorials.